any other large significant patterns, we would take it very seriously if we had evidence of big patterns. Chief Newsom says there's always going to be a gray area with some crime classifications and that part of a supervisor's job is to review how crimes are charged, especially if it's a case handled by a less experienced officer. He said if that officer has a problem with their case being downgraded, it's up to the officer to take it up the chain of command. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. We are still waiting to learn whether Elizabeth Warren will endorse a candidate for president. Now, two days after a disappointing Super Tuesday, the Massachusetts senator announced she was dropping out of the race. Warren said the most difficult part of her decision was the disappointment for young girls who want to see a woman become president. Another woman, fellow Democrat Tulsi Gabbard, is still running, though she trails in the polls. Across Virginia, it is now against the law to discriminate against someone based on the way they wear their hair. When Governor Ralph Northam signed that legislation yesterday, he said this new law especially targets racial discrimination against people who choose to wear their hair in natural styles. Virginia is now the fourth state with such a law. In Maryland, Montgomery County adopted a similar law just last month. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. So one of us is going to go to sleep, and one of us is going to stay up until 2 a.m. for a teeny-weeny chance of seeing a snowflake. This, we're talking about Which tomorrow night. Which one of us could it be? <laughs> we're talking about tomorrow night. That is probably the best chance, late, late tomorrow night, to see a snowflake inside the Beltway. And yes, I am crazy enough and deranged enough to stay up that late. You are. Yeah, why not? There'll be, go <laughs> there'll be golf on, so it won't be a total loss. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the radar. The surface low is pro providing a lot of rain from Raleigh eastward across the coastal plain, North Carolina. This is more of an upper level low out in the Ohio Valley. If they were to phase, in other words, come together as one storm, would have been a, a, a snowstorm for us, but they're not going to do that. So one's going to sl slowly go off to the east. The other one's going to just whip through here tomorrow night. So what does that mean? It's still worthy of a yellow weather alert, especially because it's a Friday. So we're looking at temperatures low 40s to start at the bus stop and some showers are possible here and there. It's not going to be a rain event everywhere. It's not going to be a continuous rain either. The temps are going to hold generally in the upper 40s uh, tomorrow. We might just barely touch uh, 50 in the immediate uh, metro area. So what does that mean in terms of the next 12 hours? Well, temperatures are going to bottom out low 40s downtown. We're going to try to touch 50 or 51, and then by 6 o'clock, we might even see some sunshine. In fact, we might even see some sunshine at 3 or 4 o'clock. Again, it's not going to be a continuous rain. If we add up all the rain that's heading our way, it's very little, less than a third of an inch. It's the timing that's the problem. And it's also going to be March-like tomorrow. We haven't had very many March-like or winter-like days this year. So in terms of the uh, impacts, wet morning commute, wet evening commute, moderate. And then power outage is very low. There'll be a little bit of wind tomorrow. Low visibility, possible, but very brief with the uh, showers that roll through. So temperatures, we went 50 tomorrow. 52 on to, uh, Saturday, and then low 60s on Sunday. Great rebound for the weekend. And then near 70 on Monday and near 70 again on Tuesday. With those temps, will come the chance for some showers and some rain, but that's kind of a small price to pay, really. So, yellow weather alert tomorrow. Wet commutes are possible, but again, I want to emphasize far from a washout. And the best chance of flakes in the metro will be late at night tomorrow. You folks west of the divide will have snow uh, by noon, and you folks maybe far north is Frederick could have some snow uh, by noon as well. Weekend, chilly and then warmer on Sunday. So we're looking at temperatures. I'm mean, looking at the snowfall. So we'll put this into motion by midnight tomorrow. So Saturday, nothing in the metro, a little bit of snow to the northeast. And there's where all the snow is west of the divide. In fact, a good weekend to go uh, skiing. And then by 7 a.m. on Saturday, maybe a little bit of snow just north of us. Maybe as close as Howard County, but again, a couple wet snowflakes are still possible inside the Beltway. So 50 tomorrow, yellow weather alert, 52 on Saturday, and then nice 60, 63 on Sunday. So Monday, not bad, partly cloudy near 70. We'll keep it dry, but then showers come in Tuesday, more showers Wednesday, cooler on Thursday with more rain late temperatures in the mid-50s. Listen, football is a tough sport. When you take a hit, you get hurt, you want to know you've got the best person out there to help you get better. Yeah, and one of those best persons uh, doesn't really want to stick around. The Redskins, they're allowing Trent Williams to seek a trade. What the seven-time Pro Bowler told me that confirms he's not coming back, y'all.